In 2013, the fastest rising star in music was Avicii, and I was standing in the production tent for Ultra Music Festival. So my production team was working the main stage that year, and we saw something crazy happen. We saw people start booing Avicii. Here's what really went down that day, and what Avicii taught us. First, if you don't know, my name's Justin. I run a program called Cosmic Academy, or an artist development school. Been around for over 10 years, and we have over 650 students that get incredible results. They sign to the biggest labels, like Tool Room, Armada, and Juna, and they play shows like Ultra. We had three students last year play EDC. But before I started Cosmic Academy, I had a concert production company called Cosmic Opera. And in 2013, a bunch of the people from my concert production company were hired to oversee the main stage of Ultra Music Festival. So let me set the scene. 2013 was a huge year at Ultra. The Swedish House Mafia was retiring, it was held over two weekends, and electronic music at the time was just exploding. But for me, the most interesting thing that happened that week was with Avicii. We had heard that Avicii was debuting this new sound at Ultra. His team came to the production booth and they discussed with the people there. Even before the festival started, you know, Avicii's team came in advance. They explained that they're gonna have all this new sound with live instruments and band people are gonna come out. It's gonna be very, very different. And the people on my team and myself, we, we were all kind of scratching our heads, but excited because you have to realize that up until that time, Avicii was known for his happy progressive house. He was known because of Levels and Bromance and all those incredible tracks from 2010 to 2012. And that was the sound at that time that everyone loved. You know, think about it. It's 2013. It's Alesso and Martin Garrix and Hardwell and Swedish House Mafia. This very euphoric, happy, progressive house. So when it's time for Avicii set, everything's set up perfectly. He comes out. The audience is excited. He's one of the biggest stars in the world. And he starts playing. And then all of a sudden, something changes. A live band comes to the stage and they've got acoustic guitars and they do not look like an electronic music band. They look very, very different. And the music that they start playing was something we had never heard. It was some sort of combination of folk, indie, EDM pop, and then something very, very strange happened. I'm standing in the production booth. People on my team are standing there with me. And we're looking around and audience members start to boo Avicii. There's people booing, there's people walking away from the stage, like people seem ticked off. But Avicii continued the record, he continued the rest of his set, the band continued to play. It got a little awkward, but he continued. I looked around at my team and we all kind of said the same thing. You know, look, this doesn't sound like levels and, and it doesn't sound like what he's been putting out, but it's still, you know, good, good music, it's a good song. By the end of it, we all kind of questioned if Avicii would ever release this stuff. Because to see people booing him at that height of his fame, to see people walking away disgruntled was truly shocking. And I can't even imagine how he must have felt. You know, we were looking at people from his team and there was just confusion. But sure enough, he trusted his gut. He ignored the naysayers and the haters. And Avicii eventually released that song. The song he played that day was called Wake Me Up. When Wake Me Up came out, it shot to number one on all the charts. It ended up going number one in over 25 different countries. It has close to a billion streams on Spotify. It remains his biggest hit of all time. But initially, they booed him. It didn't sound like the music that they were used to. It didn't sound like the popular progressive house from 2012. So here's the lesson we need to learn. Whatever the cool sound is right now, whether it's the, the tech house or the dark techno, whatever it is, you don't have to make that. Good music is good music. Avicii wanted to try something different. He didn't want to keep making the same stuff, keep doing the same progressive house set that everyone was doing. So he made and performed truly what he wanted. So if you believe in your sound and what you like, that's all that matters. You must make the music that you want to make. And if you're just trying to make whatever's cool at the time, you're never gonna make something truly incredible. If Avicii just listened to the audience that day and the naysayers and the haters, he probably would've just kept making the same progressive house sound from 2012. He would've never made Wake Me Up, or Hey Brother, or These Nights, you know, these amazing songs that were some of the best music of his career. He would have never made it. So this is truly a gift of a lesson that we can learn from him. For me, it was incredible to just be a fly on the wall during this historic moment. So do me a favor, toss a like in this video for Avicii. We miss him. If you like this video, 
subscribe to our channel, put out tons of free videos from our premium program. We'd love to see you next time.